One of my lecturers said one of the hardest materials they've ever had to work with was glass. It's the most visually appealing when you see it being made, you know, how everybody's moving and so on. And when they made that comment of it being a difficult material to use, something in the back of my head just went, challenge accepted. So I found uh, a university with a hot glass department and figured if I try this for a year and it doesn't work out, I could always go back to, I want to do fine art painting. Um, but now I kind of stuck with it, got bitten by the bug and I've been doing this for about eight years now. such an interesting material and it's something that demands your attention. The minute you pick up a blowing iron, put it into the furnace, you're committed to doing something with it. And there's many qualities of glass that are very interesting to work with, something that you can take advantage of. You know, it's not just a, a transparent um, material that can be used for windows and functional objects. Personally, I quite like to find inspiration just through everyday life, reading through books and so on, just sitting on the bench and seeing what they come up with and letting the material kind of inform decisions in terms of form and what the colour will do. So it can be quite a tactile and natural experience in terms of designing things that way. Ultimately, you can kind of play it through in your mind, the process, what you want to make. But uh, sometimes the material just does what it wants to do. So responding to that can be quite difficult sometimes. But again, it evolves the design and sometimes it leads to better things or, or worse things. Ultimately, it's very, very hot. So getting used to that kind of environment is something that's, that takes time, you know. And um, thinking through a process trying to get it to do what you want it to do is very, very difficult at times. Um, ultimately leading to the point where when we spin the bowl out and let gravity take over, it's just a reminder that there's always these forces at play, there's always the heat and the cold and then there's gravity pulling, stretching things out or, or squashing it down. 